Hello everybody, this is Mitch Patrick Fitzsimmons here with another video scripting tutorial for Second Life. And today we are going to talk a little bit about game development in Second Life. Um, <clears throat> in particular, I've got this little stoplight uh, object here that I made. It's uh, kind of a simple little object, you know. And it's ten primitives. It's got a base, a pole, a button here. It's got three lights. Each light has a little housing around it, and then we've got the main housing uh, for all of the lights. And so this is about, uh, this actually is exactly 10 primitives. And so if we go into edit mode, we can look and we can see, yep, it's got 10 primitives, and we've got a script here uh, in the base. <clears throat> and what this is going to do is it, it, it's going to give us the link numbers of all the prims, because... Uh, in game development, you know, and in, in, in other, you know, development of other uh, objects that you might make in Second Life, it's really uh, helpful to know the link number of all the prims, the different prims that you're using in your objects. You know, you, you may have more than 10, you may have less than 10, or you, know, you might link something, unlink it, and then relink it, and all those link numbers are going to change. And so what I've done here is just as a little example, is uh, we, we got this... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, function called get object data and so we're gonna open the script up here and take a look and yeah it's very simple you know we got one little function here we've got one little event handler in our default state and so we're using a link message because we've got a button down there and that button actually has its own script we don't need to do that but we will do that just for testing purposes in this uh, tutorial and so our link message, uh, what that does is once we get the link message, now this could be any link message, um, <clears throat> because we haven't, you know, we haven't declared any kind of filtering for, for link messages here. So we get a link message into the main root prim of uh, our object, and we're going to fire off this function called get object data. And what this function does up here, as we can see, is it basically gives us uh, a couple of pieces of information. The first piece is uh, through an owner say message. Actually, they're both through owner say messages. Um, the, the first inf piece of information we're getting, though, is the prim count of the object. Now, we already know it's 10 because we can see that in our build window. Um, but, you know, you might have many objects and you don't, you know, necessarily, you might not have this information with, with every uh, version uh, of uh, uh, the SL browser you might be using. I'm using Imprudence right now. Uh, but you might be in Fire uh, Firestorm or, or maybe some the VSL browser. I'm not, I'm not sure if they all have that information available. Anyhow, uh, so we're getting this one owner say message, just giving us the total number of prims, and we're using this function here to do that. That's the get object prim count function, which requires uh, a key of the object. So we're going to use the ll get key function as the parameter for our get object prim count function. And of course, since we're using this information in an owner say message, we have to typecast that as a string because this this by itself will return an integer and that will not be uh, uh, available to us in the owner say message as, as it stands. So we have to typecast that into uh, a string variable. And so Continuing on, we got uh, another integer down here, just a local integer in our uh, user-defined function, and it's called integer i equals 1. Just give it a default value of 1. And so we're going to use that integer, that local integer i, in a while loop. We could also use a for loop, uh, but we're going to go ahead and use a while loop, and we're going to just say while i is less than get object prim count. Okay, we're going to use this 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 same the same piece of information right here. Okay, and we're going to say while i is less than the prim count plus one, we're going to do this message here, this owner say message, which is get the link name and the link number, and then we're going to uh, we're going to declare i equals i plus one, so that we're going to we're going to add one to each iteration through the while loop. And the reason, uh, <clears throat> the reason, <laughs> yeah, almost lost what I was, uh, my train of thought here. The reason we're doing this plus one here 
you know, while it, while I is less than get object prim count plus one, is because we want to return the link name and link number of every prim in this object. So if we did not have this press uh, plus one, it would go up to ten, but it would only return nine of those uh, of those answers to us. And so by saying get object prim count plus one, we're actually getting eleven iterations, but it's going to return all ten of the uh, of the objects in our build. And so we just use the, the another owner say message here to uh, get the link name of I, and we add a little plus here, and in quotations we've got a little uh, uh, message is link number, and then we typecast I as a string to give us the actual link number. So and then i equals i plus one is the iteration that increments through the while loop. And so let's go ahead and close this out and close out our build window. And we'll go ahead and press this button. And you can see we got prim count is 10. Uh, the traffic light base is link number one. The pole is link number two. The housing box is link number three. And so it just goes right up to 10. Uh, ending where the button is link number 10. So this is helpful. Uh, in determining the link numbers of all of the prims in your builds, uh, in, in your linked objects. And you will use this further down the, down the line. As we begin to develop this game, uh, we're going to need to know the link numbers of specific objects, like the lights, uh, in order to make those work. And so that is just one little script that will, will help you do that. We could put, you know, we could go ahead and... Let's, let's just go ahead and do this. We can go ahead and edit link parts. And uh, we can go in and put a new script in the yellow light here. See, it says, hello, avatar. And we can open that up and we can say, you know, we can typecast a string of get link number. And we can save that. Close that out, and okay, yellow light, the link number is six, right? But we, we already knew that because we we did that here, so yellow light is no, link number six, and we got all the link numbers for everything with one script. See, if I did this method here, if I, you know, edit link parts, and I go into each little piece and try to figure out the link number using a script for each prim in, in my object, you know, I could be... I could be doing that for days, <laughs> uh, depending on how many objects are in my my build. So let's delete that because we don't need it. And so that's just one way to get all these link numbers, uh, which can be confusing when you're linking objects, especially if you're linking multiple linked objects together. The link numbers will all change. You know, two root, root prims uh, in, in two separate objects will, will change. One of them will change. You know, uh, it's link number, and so that's just a little way to to help you in game development or even development, you know, of, of other things, non-game type things. And uh, so, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up below. And if you haven't subscribed already, I uh, ask that you would subscribe and continue watching. We're going to develop this uh, through the next few videos. We're going to actually develop this into a game that we can use in Second Life. Um, and I will have a link to my marketplace below for other builds that I've already completed that are online. And you can, you can check out my store at the Second Life, uh, Second Life Marketplace. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll continue on. In the next video, we'll start programming our actual game, uh, the stoplight game here. So until next time, we'll catch you later.